Now, this one here, so it's a wh which one is the answer? And if you're going back and watching this video later or if you're watching it right now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Uh, I, I don't know who told some people this, but evidently a lot of people have been told that we're always supposed to multiply before we divide. I have never said that to a single student in my life. Um, multiplication and division, they both hold the same weight. And it's all about which one comes first as you move from left to right. That's what it boils down to. So do them from left to right, whichever comes first. Now, before we dive too deep into that, let's make sure we take care of our parentheses in this problem. So yes, I am going to go ahead and work the parentheses out. So three plus two, we get five. Now, something else to take note of, if you don't see an operator in between like this four and this parentheses, automatically that means multiply. And I'm seeing comments over here. People are already saying 25 and that's good. I can't tell you how many times I've been tagged in Facebook posts and I love being tagged. I don't care about that, but people get, I mean, back and forth. What we have to do here since division comes first from left to right, we want to take care of that division before we multiply. So 20 divided by four, do that first, we get five, and then we can multiply by five to give us that answer of 25. Whereas, if we mess this one up, I'm going to rewrite it, 20 divided by four, and then we have our five, go ahead and get that out of your head, folks. I mean, we do not multiply first here. And if you did, look at what you get. If you'd be like, okay, I know I'm going to multiply. That's 20 divided by 20, and that gets one. And I think that's what led to a heavy discussion every time I see this pop up is because you're getting two nice answers. But the correct answer here is definitely going to be 25. So don't do it that way. So there's a right and a wrong way to do this. Absolutely. Um, and, and if I pulled up like a, a scientific calculator or a graphing calculator where you can type in, you know, the T's calculator, it kind of stinks um, <laughs> because we can't type in a, a, an entire expression all in on one line. And, and on scientific calculators and graphing calculators, you can type in this whole daggone thing at one time and it's going to spit out 25. Or heck, if you just go type this in at Google, type in 20 divide 4 parentheses 3 plus 2, it's going to probably spit out, well, it should, it better, it should spit out 25. 